I'm usually a massive fan of listening to music, going as far to have a classic iPod and using Apple EarPods as my main pair of headphones, but I do want to say that I stumbled on a pair of headphones, which this is the first impression, basically, which are $7. The JBL Tune 110s. So let's talk about it. It's them. like magic. Magic when you touch me. Now, as you can see from the price tag, it was $7, and these are fairly cheap headphones. These are also wired headphones as well. Now, the pair of headphones which I do use on a regular basis when it comes down to personal use are the Apple EarPods. Professional use is a little different, and I don't really want to talk about professional use. These are mostly just things which I'll probably keep mostly as a pair of headphones which I use for with my Xbox. So I wanted to also give myself a bit of an excuse to uh, open these up since I want to get into a bit of a gaming session and actually try these out at the same time. I mean, I'm going to try them out on this video as well, but the difference is is that gaming-wise, I'm talking gaming-wise. All right, as we open them slowly, uh, first off, which just fell on the ground are as extra ear tips. These are also pairs of headphones which are also like they're meant to plug into your ear unlike Apple ear pods which are like they just kind of sit in your ear not really blocking much noise but I like that I like that about headphones. I do gotta say immediately I'm kind of a fan of the designs I mean the actual design of these don't actually look that bad which is what makes me a bit curious about what, how they're gonna actually feel, how they're gonna be. Okay, first impression, now these are wired headphones, so these are not wireless headphones. Honestly, if you're getting wireless for the price, you're probably getting something terrible. So, I do gotta say the cable is very weird. It's also very long as well, which I think is really good. I think it's a bit longer than the Apple EarPods. They also got uh, weird detents, like having the actual, like, headphone jack a bit cornered and also the headphones slightly cornered as well. This also has a microphone. Yeah, it has a microphone in it. It does indicate what's left and right. And the feel is actually not that bad. It actually blocks out a lot of noise. I'm not used to it blocking noise out. So uh, yeah, that's going to be an interesting one to deal with. These do have a microphone. So I'm going to try them out with my phone to not only record first, but also actually listen to some music. You probably have to wonder to yourself, why has KSI and Dan TM have gotten into such a big controversy because of brand deals between Prime and also Mr. Beast? Well... Alright, now I'm gonna let myself listen to some music. I, I don't know what exactly what I want to listen to, so I'm gonna just choose something which I heard recently. Okay, so my cam is about to die, so I'm going to probably give my quick thoughts before I go and lose the footage to this video. I want to say that these headphones are... They're fine. They're definitely more on the bass side. Personally, I, I've never really have listened to earplugs like these. Like, I've always listened to earpods either way. I've had some encounters with, like, earplugs in the past. But not in the same sense nowadays because I don't really listen to music in that same correlation. I just use Apple EarPods or more professional headphones. It's a very weird experience. Uh, if you were used to it, then I bet you would kind of have more correlation to be like, oh, this is normal sounding. It sounds like it's more bass heavy. Like, obviously it was more bass heavy from the like packaging and that stuff. It just sounded a little like the like everything else that wasn't the bass was kind of far away. Which, I mean, it's totally fine. I wouldn't use these for music, but I would probably say that coming down to actually using them for something like video games and that stuff, if you're needing cheap headphones, they're good. They're good for that. Music-wise, they're kind of on the questionable side. If you're wanting something more balanced, these are not for you. But if you like something which is a little more bassy, then these are a good option, especially with them being $7 from JBL, which is owned by Harman Carmen. It's a good option if you're wanting more bass, but neutral sounding, it's kind of hard to be able to recommend that. Um, also, the microphone as well is fine if you're wanting to get into a call on that. So it actually doesn't sound that terrible, but it's not really for me either. Against Apple EarPods, they're definitely more or less like 
a little more crunchy. Against anything that's more neutral sounding, I would say that probably steer clear if you're planning on using these as professional headphones. But if you're wanting something which is pretty nice to use and also is cheap, then I would say get the JBL Tune 10. <laughs> Do get some JBL Tune 110s. I mean, if you're wanting them, of course. Um, the, I, the only reason why I got these was because of the price tag, and it was like, yeah. So I want to say um, thank you guys so much for watching this little video. My camera just died. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later when I talk about this Panasonic Boombox. I keep saying that, but I need to get on it soon. So, bye! Oh,